Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today is January 14th, 2020. The poem that I'm going to read today is by an old friend, Emily Dickinson, American poet who lived from 1830 to 1886. She has a really lovely winter poem that I wanted to read to you today, and it is called The Sky is Low, The Clouds Are Mean. And you might recall that many of Emily Dickinson's poems are just titled by their first line, and this one is no different. So this is how it goes. The sky is low, the clouds are mean. A traveling flake of snow across a barn or through a rut debates if it will go. A narrow wind complains all day how someone treated him. Nature, like us, is sometimes caught without her diadem. This is such a a delightful, uh, short, seemingly simple poem uh, with so many just uh, great images. Um, If you don't know, a diadem is a crown, essentially. A jeweled crown, uh, I suppose, could be maybe not a crown technically, but like a headband or something, but uh, a um, something that someone would wear who was a king or a queen or, or a sovereign of some kind. <clears throat> and I love how she kind of plays with all these different images leading up to the word diadem. So the sky is low, dash, the clouds are mean. So we probably think of right away that mean means, you know, not generous, not nice, unkind, something like that. But it also could be the idea of something that is um, uh, shabby or not very nice in the sense, not not in the sense that it's, that it's unkind, but in the sense that it doesn't have a lot of um, value, financial value, things like that. And then on the other hand, a third meaning could be, <laughs> the third meaning of the word mean could be what I'm saying there. The idea of it has a signification. It signifies something. So we start with that image. Then we get a traveling flake of snow that is going across a barn or through a rut, and it's debating if it will go. But then we get a dash. It doesn't say. It doesn't tell us where it's going to go. Is it going to go to the ground and join the other snow there? Is it going to go far off and leave the place that they're here, uh, that the that the the poet is is looking at, that the poet is living, and that's the end of the first stanza. And then the second stanza talks about this narrow wind, which, not unlike the traveling flake of snow, is uh, unhappy with its lot. It's complaining about all the people that are uh, treating him poorly, perhaps meanly. (laughs) But then she says at the end, this lovely little line, nature like us is sometimes caught without her diadem, is sometimes caught without her, her crown on. And I was thinking about what's would the effect of being caught without the the diadem would be because on the one hand you can you know maybe it's that your the diadem is the thing that signifies your status if you're a sovereign that signifies your sovereign sovereignty so when someone sees you without that they're going to question your status question your authority question your sovereignty but when you're wearing it there's a power to it right it it's uh it means that people have to treat you in a certain way. They have to think about you in a certain way. And you probably think about yourself in a certain way. When you're not wearing the diadem, people probably treat you a certain way, right? When you are wearing the diadem, they treat you a certain way. And those two ways are probably not the same. (laughs) Quickly, before I read it again, I just want to note that one of the things that I like about this poem is the way it sort of speaks to what we might describe as, I hesitate to use this word, but petty or or um simple problems uh, human problems right like the notion just of how someone's going to think about you or are they going to give you enough respect or do they like you the way that you think you deserve or that you probably do deserve i mean these are very sort of universal things that peasants feel and that kings feel and she takes that and she she personifies nature she gives this problem to nature and that speaks to the sort of universality of it and i think that that is um One of those things that is sort of simple on the surface, but that only poets like Emily Dickinson can pull off in this way and craft a poem that is going to be remembered. Not not as easy, I think, as uh, perhaps Emily Dickinson makes it look, but also one of the reasons why Emily Dickinson is so imitatable um, and memorizable, actually. 
So here is, the sky is low, the clouds are mean. The sky is low, the clouds are mean. A traveling flake of snow across a barn or through a rut debates if it will go. A narrow wind complains all day how someone treated him. Nature, like us, is sometimes caught without her diadem. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with another poem for you.